I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so it's around about this time of the year, isn't it, where a lot of people can be feeling a little bit more down, a little bit more sort of gloom, and not necessarily too much to look forward to. Um, January always, no matter who you talk to, always seems to be a little bit bleak for people. We've just had the Christmas season. We've had all that amazing enjoyment and time and wonderful things happen in the most magical time of the year and then of course we go into January and unless you've got a birthday or some sort of party or function or something going on in your family or friends or whoever um, then it can seem to be quite flat. However it's important I always find in life to have aspirations, hopes and dreams and a whole new year gives a whole new way for new hopes, new dreams and new aspirations of what you want to do with your life. Now we all know that in today's life things don't come easy in terms of cost and with the cost of living ever increasing in this world it can often seem that dreams and hopes and aspirations of what we want to do of our life seem ever further away and we just spend more and more time at the desk at work. However, just because your dream didn't come to you today, and let's be honest, dreams, they take a fair bit of time to come together. So even though that your dream didn't come together to get today for you, or even in the next couple of days, be sure to cherish today. Be sure to embrace the spirit of January. And I know you may think, what on earth is Bradley going on about? But let's be honest, break it down. January is new starts. So there's new ways of life to be had. We can treat ourselves a little bit more kindly. We can make time for a little bit more time to enjoy and just de-stress and be a little bit more kinder to our minds and our mental well-being and mental uh, health. It also gives us the opportunity to reevaluate things. So it could be finances, it could be family life, it could be relationships. Am I spending enough time with my partner? Am I spending enough time with mum and dad or nan and granddad or uncles, aunts? Am I spending enough time catching up with friends? Is the balance of work life okay for me? Is work becoming to be a little bit more too much and it's starting to be a bit detrimental? as to speak to my life? Is it affecting my relationship? What are my finances like? After having had Christmas, a lot of people are left in a situation with trying to have the most amazing Christmas. Not everybody thinks about the repercussions of spending that little bit too much in December. Then of course, January, when the bills roll in, there's a lot of stress flying around. So my friend, just because your dream didn't happen today, it doesn't mean to say that it's not going to come true. And let's just take a moment to reflect. And it's important to cherish today. So of all of those things, what we've just gone through. So you, you, your dream hasn't come true. So whatever you want to do with your life, perhaps it's not going to come true this week. Perhaps it's not going to come true for the next six months. But every step along the way, you can grow. You can develop. You can get better at something. You can improve. You can build your way for having a fantastic journey, helping other people and helping yourself, your, your mind, your well-being, your finances, your relationship. You can take time to enjoy things which, in essence, sometimes if you're so wrapped up in your aspirations, your hopes, your goals, your dreams, you may miss. So, for example, make time for you because along that way doesn't mean to say that because it didn't happen today, it's not going to happen. January can often at first glance be looked at as a bleak month, but for me, I try to capture the spirit of January. New starts, new beginnings, a whole new path, a whole new fresh, crisp book to write of 365 pages. Write yours, as I always say, how you'd wish to read it. Do you want to read a book which is a little bit mundane or is perhaps loses interest on just the first page? Now, how does that transpire into life? Well, are you stuck in a bit of a rut? Do you have the same uh, pattern of events going on in your life? Do you find that you stress over the same things? Unless we do something about it, my friend, and I know, I'm just being careful here, I know that sometimes there is very little we can do, but there is always something. Unless we start to review, unless we start to look at ourselves and our life which we're in, we can't change it. I've got friends and I've got people in my life who sometimes struggle with making change. Sometimes I always find, and I've heard this on actually one of my, uh, on a favourite film of mine, and it just transpires so amazingly. Sometimes a person who is not willing to learn or change is the most scariest thing of all. And I've been through difficult times. I've been through problem issues in regards to health. Um, I've got a bit of a mountain to climb coming up. 
with all of us, we're all going through something. But we always have the opportunity to learn from something, to grow from something, to improve, or to aspire to do something better. Or just sometimes it could be as simple as just taking time to enjoy life. I love the phrase, and I've got it written on my wall actually over there, is take a time to stop and smell the roses. They're actually quite beautiful. Which again, break that down, what does that mean? Sometimes we can get so wrapped up in life in that 12-month cycle of the year and then the year's just gone, we enjoy Christmas, we're into January and then some people feel they're in that gloom again. If you stop and if you just break down week by week or even day or hour by hour and if that's too much for you, literally just saying to yourself, Do you know what, today was tough but you got through it and actually stop and when we're talking about that, that those roses, stop and smell, they're actually quite beautiful. Look at the day you've done. Okay, so this morning I woke up really early. I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that meeting in the morning. I didn't actually think I was going to be able to make that decision. I didn't think I was going to get that piece of work done. And I actually cooked a really lovely meal for me and my wife, or me and my children, or for mum and dad. Think of it. You got through the day. You're in a better position than what you were this morning. you done some great, amazing things. You spent some amazing time with family members. You caught up with people who you didn't think you were going to, and you've made some great progress at work. There is always light in every situation. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of finding it. Now, I know you may be sat there thinking, what on earth is Bradley going on about? He's talking about simple things. But you know what? Simple things, little by little, create a huge, big, cascading thing. And then you're on your way to your dreams, aspirations, hopes, and all those goals coming true. January doesn't have to be a bleak month, my friend. And as I started this off with, dreams don't come together in a couple of days. So what? They didn't come together today. Don't let that crush you into the ground that your dream's never going to happen. It will. It absolutely will. But be sure to cherish today because there are so many people in your situation who would love to be in your situation. They would give anything to be in your situation. Take a moment sometimes to think out of the box that in our own hearts and our own heads and give time, give peace. Sometimes just being still in the moment, enjoying the very here and now can be the most powerfulest thing ever. And that can certainly help you grow, move forward and grasp the rest of January to come and all of what this incredible year will bring. I hope that you take something away from that. And as I say on my clip, on this first, on the image of this clip here, there is amazing things to come, my friend, and you are an amazing person, and there is only one of you in this world. God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.